Hello, Hayfield Talks. I am Miss Lynn. I hope that you are all doing well, staying safe and healthy during this time. I'm super excited. I'm going to be bringing you some art projects through videos during this online learning experience. So let's get started. Today, I will be demonstrating different painting techniques that you can use with any painting that you want to create. You will need paint, a paintbrush, paper towel, and water. The first technique that I'm going to show you is outline and fill. So I'm going to outline a building. I'm going to choose maybe red. I'm going to outline windows. And then I'm going to fill in my building. I'm switching colors, so I'm going to wash off my paintbrush, tap it on the side so it doesn't drip, and then dry my paintbrush and my paper towel, and I'm gonna fill in the windows with a different color. The next technique is called wet into wet. The first thing that you should do is you should paint in the whole area with one color. So I'm gonna do blue. You'll notice that this kind of paint is different than the paint that we use at school. There's more water in this paint, so it's a little bit transparent. You can see through the blue, through the white paper underneath. So I've painted this whole area in, and before it dries, I'm gonna switch to a different color. I'm gonna use red this time, and I'm gonna mix it right on top. And look at what happened. It was a blue, and when I added red, I made purple. So wet into wet actually allows you to create a new color. The next technique I'm gonna show you is blending. With blending, you can make one color change into another. So I think blending is good for like a sunset. So I'm gonna make a sunset. I'll start off with red at the top. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna add some yellow. So that way it looks yellow on the bottom, it transitions to an orange, and then it's red at the top. That's blending. Scumbling is when you use your paintbrush in a circular motion. So I'm gonna do scumbling with blue. I can start off by filling it in, and then when there's not a lot of paint left on my paintbrush, I can do circular motions. This is called scumbling. You want to do scumbling with a pretty dry paintbrush. So that means that you don't have a lot of paint on your paintbrush. So that way you can see the white of the paper underneath. And it gives it sort of this texture. That texture kind of looks like that white foam that builds up when water's crashing onto the shore of a beach. The next technique I'm gonna show you is streaking. I'm gonna use blue. You're gonna fill in the area. I'm gonna try to make it as smooth as possible. And then I'm gonna choose a different color. I'm going to use this white to brush it on top of the blue. This is called streaking. I like to use it for the waves if I'm painting an ocean scene. Stippling and dabbing, that's when you do small little marks. Start with orange. 
you press down and then up, down and up to make little marks, you can fill in the area. So take a moment to think, why might an artist choose to use stippling? An artist might choose to use stippling if they're painting, for example, the leaves of a tree. This looks like a bunch of leaves maybe on top of a tree in fall. Scrofita scratch is a technique that you use to carve away paint. So I'm going to fill in this with one color to start off with. Graffito means to scratch. So after I've painted in this area, I'm gonna flip my paintbrush over and I'm going to scratch the surface. I'm gonna make these straight lines. And then I'm gonna make lines that go down in between. So it's sort of like a brick, a brick pattern. It could look like maybe the side of a building. The last technique I'm gonna show you is texture. Texture means that it looks like how something feels. So you want to use your paint to make it look like it feels like something. So if I wanted to create a rock texture, for example, maybe my painting, I want to have some rocks. A rock has a rough texture, so I'm gonna try to use some scumbling to help me create a rough texture. And rocks are not just one color, so maybe I will add some green to make it look a little bit mossy. So now that I've shown you all of the techniques, you can use what you have learned to create a painting. In my finished painting, I've used a bunch of different techniques. I've used streaking to create the waves of the water. I've used scumbling, it's that circular motion with a dry brush. So this is the part where the water's crashing onto the shore and you can see that it's transparent. So you can see the sand underneath the water. I've used scraffito or scratch I use that for both the tree trunk and the house. You can see that I scratched in the doors, the door and the windows. 
I've also used wet into wet in the sky. So the sky up here is kind of purple. I mixed blue and red together to make that purple. And then I used blending also. I blended the red into the purple part. So I hope that you have fun creating your painting with the different techniques that you have learned. I would love to see the artwork that you've created. So if you would like to, please take a photo and email it to me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you had fun while learning. Have a marvelous day, stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun with the rest of your distance learning.